I think we all feel Thank that Ken will be on an episode of Dr. Phil very soon. And I think we should give him a 10 minute head start home before we fucking leave out of here tonight. So, there you go. <laughs> I did explain to you that this was open mic, right? I did say that at the beginning, right? Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, put your hands you together here you next to and Give it up for Daniel Silver, everybody. Daniel! Bartenders, give them a big tip because I'm a bartender, but uh, I'm a bartender in a nursing home, so I don't I don't receive tips. I only deliver quips. Uh, the, the name of the bar is The Last Call. Um, there was a lady at my bar, and she said, "Excuse me, there's lipstick on my glass." I said, "Well, you did order a dirty martini. Would you rather have a rusty nail?" And she got really mad. She's like, "I want a bottle of your finest Cabernet." I said, "What year?" She said, right now. I'm like, okay. <laughs> she was a wine snob. She told me the best wine comes from Napa. She doesn't know what she's talking about because I went there. They even sell wine at an auto parts store. <laughs> so not only do I work with old people, I also have another job. I work with young people. I'm a school teacher at Hillel, a Jewish school in Tampa. Thank you very much. One of, the, one of the students asked me, Mr. Silver, what is circumcision? I said, well, to make a long story short, <laughs> I used to be a member of a Jewish biker gang. It was called Himmel's Angels. I rode a yarmulke. I do well at Hillel because my father's a rabbi, so uh, we were very poor growing up. It was hard for him to bring home the bacon. Uh, my father was born in Wilmington, Delaware. He's friends with Joe Biden. That's true. I'm not so proud of that right now. I just have one question. If Biden is so against guns, why did he name his son Hunter? What's his daughter's name? Gatherer? I don't like to get political, but if you're wondering if that Russian dissident was deliberately killed in prison, the proof is in the Putin. I got picked on a lot growing up. All the kids in the block used to laugh at me and make fun of me. When I showed them, I became a comedian. Yeah, nobody's laughing now. But I remember I invited my neighbor over for dinner and I told her, my, my dad's a rabbi at our house. We pray before we eat. She says, we don't have to do that at my house because my mom's a good cook. <laughs> this girl's name was Maureen. She was very pretty. I had a crush on her. Sometimes we'd play doctor. Usually she'd be the doctor and I'd be the malpractice attorney. <laughs> Tell you a little bit about myself. I'm divorced. My wife and I were happy for 20 years and then we met. <laughs> I knew the marriage wasn't going to last because at the wedding they threw minute rice. <laughs> very incompatible because I'm a health nut. She's just like a nut job. It used to take her forever to get ready to go out. She had to put makeup on both faces. You know, when I met my wife, she had that hourglass figure. After we got married, I think she switched over to daylight savings time. I think she might have gained an hour or two, but it's okay. I like the big girls. I used to be ashamed about it, but now I've come out of the pantry. Yeah, but, uh, my wife had a weight problem. Every time I wanted sex, she's like, wait. But she used to tell her friends I was a superhero in the bedroom, the Flash. You know, I am sick and tired of these pharmaceutical commercials, and you know what I'm talking about. When diet and exercise isn't enough, ask your doctor about Lipitor, right? Then right after that, then they give you like a million side effects, and after that, the lawyer comes on. Have you been taking Lipitor and now growing breasts? <laughs> you might be eligible for two lump sums. <laughs> Call Hooters and Knockers today and claim your two booby prizes. Our legal team will be your bosom buddies as they keep abreast of all the prominent developments. No use crying over spilled milk at Hooters or Knockers. Our motto is tit for tat. That's right, you won't go bust because we're going to milk them for all they're worth. After watching these pharmaceutical commercials, I realize every part of my body has a different emotion. Apparently I'm lactose intolerant with an overactive bladder, an underactive imagination, an upset stomach, an irritable bowel, depressed immune system, a spastic colon, a restless leg, and a lazy eye. I've got R A R L S L B L I B S E D O C D C O P D in low T. Yeah. Back when I was growing up, we never saw commercials for Viagra. I took Viagra one time before going on a date, and uh, I got stood up. <laughs> I was dating this uh, bank teller. I stayed with her until I lost interest. She used to penalize me for early withdrawal. Yeah. And the last girl I dated had a lazy eye. Everything was going great, and then I found out she was seeing someone else on the side. We never did see eye to eye. Thank you for being such a wonderful crowd. This was a lot of fun. Let's do it again sometime. I'm Dan Silver. Thank you.